today we're going to be talking about limiting reactants. So with limiting reactants um, and excess reactants, we're always going to have some type of equation. So sometimes you'll have to create this equation, sometimes you'll be given this equation, but some sort you're going to be working with an equation. So I went ahead and used the Powerpuff Girls as my example. Um, so if you've ever seen it, you know that they're made of sugar, spice, and everything nice, and then that makes the Powerpuff Girls. Um, so specifically for this equation, I said it takes three scoops of sugar, one scoop of spice, and two scoops of everything nice to create the three Powerpuff Girls. So if you have some type of villain in your city or your town or whatever, um, you're not going to want just one of those Powerpuff Girls. You're always going to want all three of them. Even two might not be enough. you got to have all three. So the whole idea with this is that you need all of these things in order to make the whole Powerpuff Girl. So let's imagine we're trying to make as many Powerpuff Girl teams as we possibly can because giant lizards have taken over or something of that nature. Have you ever seen Powerpuff Girls? You'll, you can pick whichever villain. And let's say we go back into our warehouse for our Powerpuff Girl materials and we see that we have 50 scoops of sugar. Um... 20 scoops of spice and a hundred scoops of everything nice. And for everything nice, we're going to go ahead and shorten it to EN. Everything nice. So again, this is just a warehouse inventory. We went ahead and went back and we said, okay, how many Powerpuff Girl teams can we make? And we found these quantities. So now the question is, how many Powerpuff Girl teams can we make with what we're given? And the other question that we're going to be asked is, what's stopping us from making more Powerpuff Girl teams? So these are the two big questions that we have. How many can we make and what's stopping us from making more? So this is going to be the same when we do it with any of our chemical reactions. But again, let's just stick with the Powerpuff Girls for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our scoops and we're going to go ahead and convert it to Powerpuff Girls to figure out how many we could make which e with each of these things. So go ahead and start with sugar. So we have 50 scoops of sugar. We set up our conversion. So we have scoops of sugar up top, we go ahead and bring it down below. And our equation tells us it takes three scoops of sugar to make one Powerpuff Girl team. So we're going to say three scoops of sugar is equal to one Powerpuff team. So we go ahead and plug that in. So we say 50 times 1 divided by 3, and we make about 16.66. We'll round it to 6, 7 PowerPoint teams. Powerpuff teams. There we go. We'll go ahead and abbreviate it. Powerpuff teams. Awesome. So this equation, this conversion that we just did is saying if we have unlimited spice, unlimited everything nice, and it was only dependent upon the 50 scoops of sugar, we would be able to make about 16 in whole Powerpuff teams. So now we can go ahead and take a look at the spice. And we said that there were 20 scoops of spice. So we're going to go ahead and convert that and see how many Powerpuff teams we can have. And our equation told us that it's one scoop of spice for every one Powerpuff team. So we're going to say one scoop of spice, because again we pull from top to bottom for one power puff team. So we plug that in, 20 times 1 is 20, divided by 1 gives us 20 power puff teams. And then our last one, we have 100 scoops of everything nice, so we'll go ahead and say our everything nice, EN for abbreviation. We have 100 scoops of everything nice. We convert it and we check our equation 
and it says there are going to be two scoops of everything nice for every one Powerpuff team. So we say two scoops of everything nice for our one Powerpuff team. So we plug that in. We say 100 times 1 divided by 2, and we get 50 Powerpuff teams. So now we got three different numbers for this. So we can make 16, we can make 20, or we can make 50. So the way to know how many you're actually going to make is whatever the smallest number. So since the smallest number we could possibly make is 16, this is going to be the number that we actually create because at this point we run out of sugar. So we're not going to be able to make any more Powerpuff teams because we don't have the sugar to create them. So for that first question, how many Powerpuff Girl teams can we make with what is given? The answer is 16. What's stopping us from making more? It would be the sugar. We run out of sugar. So after we make these 16 teams, we have nothing left, right? So in relation to chemistry, when we're looking at this, these words are going to be a little bit different. We're going to have what's called our limiting reactant and our excess reactant. So our limiting reactant is what stopped us from making more, and our excess reactant is exactly that. It's what we have excess of, what we have plenty of. So when we look at our sugar spice and everything nice, we see our sugar was what created the fewest, which means this is how many we actually make, which means our sugar was our limiting reactant because it stopped us from making any more. And then for this example, we have two excess reactants. We have spice and we have everything nice. And then there's, there's a few more questions you'll be asked about this, but we'll save that for when we get to the chemistry side of it.